All right, so we're going to start out by making a Java code. So, JavaScript. And let's call this JavaScript recast. All right, so in a recast, what we're going to do first is declare some variables. And the first variable is area. So how far is this raycast going to go? How far can it see? It's going to be an integer. And I'm going to set it to a default of 100. OK, next, another variable. And this one's going to be target. Got a transform node. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I like coding target in. And this is basically the player. So variable uh, text. So this is a text string, and it's going to be the atypical hello world. Okay, so as we go along, what I want to do is start teaching you how to trigger text. And then we can use that as trigger points to show where we need code to launch. So in order for that to work, I need a function at the bottom. And the function is on GUI. Okay. So I'm just going to make it very simple. I'm going to put a GUI label out there. So we covered GUI box or button. We covered GUI slider. Now here's a label. And this is going to be a rectangle. It's going to sit 10 dash 10 or comma 10, 100 units long and 20 height and it's going to have the variable text so text is at the top see hello world that's what it's going to say at first all right so there we go we have our first initialization of the test so file save and where do we need to put this well on the smart cube of course smart cube gets raycast and I hit play and see if I have anything in here. Okay, so it has a problem in here, rightfully so. I forgot this. So as opening bracket, closing bracket, opening bracket, closing bracket, I'll save. And this is a comma. Bet you guys love how I have to warm up with the coding before I make no mistakes, right? All right, there we go. We got the atypical hello world in the corner. All right, so now what I want to do is code this. So as I run around, it'll say right, left, forward, backwards, all that other stuff. And it'll tell me where I am correlating to the square. If I could do this, it makes a good example on, let's say if I approached this, like if it was a door, and if I approached it, how would it know that I was approaching it? How would it know that I was close enough to actually open the door? So this is all an educational thing. At first, it doesn't make too much relevant sense until you actually get it going. So in the next video, let's start coding some variables to understand uh, where this magical beam that detects me is starting.